Hello and welcome to another video. Today I will show you how you can repair this clone. If you are uh, trying to play with another software like me, I use uh, usually the old version of the software till 2014. And I try to play a little bit with another one. And the microchip, it doesn't react anymore. Actually it's dead. When I plug this to the computer, I hear so when he connect, I mind you will see the drivers from the FTDI, but the clone doesn't work. It's not a good idea to use this one with different software. Stay on your old software. If you have this shitty clone, do not try to use another software. It's just advice. Okay? Or if you want to have a little bit uh, so entertainment, you can use which uh, software you like. But this is uh, just my opinion. Do not use another software. Still on your original clone software okay i will connect to to the pc and i will will show you and these things it doesn't work you will see you hear also the sound and when i go here to computer As you can see, I do have the driver installed. And I'm trying to use with this version. Okay, the advanced one. But don't do this mistake. I have it before the uh, firmware 1.64. And he tried to make the update one uh, 65 because it's necessary to run this uh, newer software but after that you just die I mean it's not completely dead but it, it's almost and when you want to have this interface test take too long time and bam, nothing. It is not because it's not connected in the car. I will show you after that. Also, if it's not connected, it should show you uh, firmware version. Then stay on this uh, software version, 120309A. I will uh, open this one. I will make the connection. Let's I already take the screws. I will make the connection and we'll move to, to the desktop after that. And we have now everything connected and we'll proceed to program. I already select this one because I need the information. You can find it here. Before to go on the program you can go on device information. We should load to files I have here 1.64 but I want to use a different one I like more this one it was more stable for me you should select here binary after that you should select this one here ICSP port and automatically will jump on VCC enable. Okay, we have here the data. We can go on configuration and we should enable this one, this tree, this one, and this one also. Okay. And from here, for example, pin detect you don't need it. You can leave a check ID, erase and verify. This one you can also uh, uh, take it away from here. 
we go now on the program all these four you, you should have selected you have here the diagram and also again you have here these diagrams so from this microchip okay we will press program he will erase first the chip and then he will program the flash it goes very very fast as you can see it takes only a few seconds and that's it now we will move back to the laptop and we'll see if this works or not and we are outside I plug this in and we are ready to make a test You hear the relay from this one, and this is the version what I used most of the time. Okay, let's make also let's make a test. And this is our car, we make the contact on. Okay, we come over here. We don't have errors. We will look further on the measurements block. Uh, as you can see, it it works. This is most important. Okay, we don't make too long this video because it is not necessary. I just want to show these things work. And I always thank you for watching. Bye bye.